Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, we are today talking about the um, the Elevate program, which is going to be running from February uh, to July uh, 2023, but we're enrolling now, and we want you to have all the information and plenty of time to enroll. So that's what we are all here to talk about today. Gina is here, and she is going to be womaning the chat and the Q&A box. Um, and then, but so don't worry if you have questions, either Gina will answer them in the chat or the Q&A box. Although if you have a question question, please use the Q&A box because that we can see them better. Um, and uh, then don't worry, like we'll have time at the end for all your questions. So wonderful. All right, let me get my windows straight and share my screen. All right, and move this to presenter mode. Of course, I got all these little boxes in front. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna see if I can see the chat, which I can't, yes, I can, okay. So welcome, this uh, little presentation is called The Next Level in Your Career. And if that freaks anybody out, don't worry, we're gonna be talking about that. You don't have to know what the next level looks like in order to participate in Elevate. So we'll talk about that real briefly. Um, but basically this is a look into our Elevate program. So welcome everyone, hi Rocio, yay. All right, so a couple truths about mid-career, right? Once in, in and I'm going to be using the term tenure, but I want my people in Europe and other places around the world that are not the U.S. and Canada to know that what I mean is like year six or so into your career, whether you have a tenure system or some other, you call the promotion system something else, it is actually the same feeling. <laughs> so we're going to call it mid-career right here. Um, and we feel like this youngster who is like, you thought you'd be less tired by now, right? You thought like, I was, I'm going to get to this mid-career level and I'm going to have like more autonomy, more authority, and I'm just not going to feel exhausted. But actually, I feel more exhausted than ever. All right. Another truth about mid-career is that you actually have more responsibilities in your institution. They, I call it the snowball, right? Like that your responsibilities kind of snowball and you're like, you pick up things off the mountain as it rolls. Um, that's the metaphor. Uh, and there's, but there's like still a lot of patriarchy smashing to do and lots of things that you want to change, but it's so hard because you have kind of all these responsibilities that you've been garnering as you've been rolling through your career. And then finally, um, I love this moment in the Rapunzel movie, the post-tenure or the mid-career path is completely up to you. And also it's completely up to you. <laughs> so it's hard to like, you know, it seems exciting and also it's like scary, what am I gonna do if I can do anything, right? So uh, we know, and I'm speaking for, uh, for myself and the coaches, we know there is more for you. And the reason we know that is because our team at, uh, has actually helped nearly 70 mid-career faculty dream bigger and reach new career heights in our Elevate program. And I'm gonna be talking specifically about some of them uh, today you'll be meeting them virtually. <laughs> uh, a more fulfilling and impactful career is waiting for you. And we think that we have created a program where we can help you uncover kind of like this, the secret or the result that we want you to get, which is this up-leveled career. And up-leveling is like what it means to you right? Some people are going to look at the next level in their career as a new job, right? They're going to look at it as a deanship. They're going to look at it as running a, a, a lab that's kind of at a new level of funding. And other people are going to look at up-leveled as actually just more time spent doing what they want to do, right? As defining the impact they want their career to have, and then doing that impact. So this is really, it is vague on purpose, 
right? Um, and it, it also, if that, if you feel scared about that, or if you feel like, oh, I don't know, you know, <laughs> um, that's part of the work of Elevate, which is to really learn how to hone that listening to your own um, inner voice about what you want to do and what you want to create in the world. So our framework for this program involves um, coaching around six main themes. I'm going to go through each one of them. Once you have done this kind of uh, coaching journey um, with us in Elevate, we know that your career will be different. So I want to talk a little bit, Gina and I actually are going to talk about why we created Elevate um, and a little, tiny, tiny bit about how. So I'm going to tell you uh, a bit about my post-tenure story. Um, so I was post-tenure, maybe even all the way full, when uh, the <laughs> metaphorical stuff hit the fan <laughs> to not curse in front of your children if you're listening. Um, <laughs> Uh, at our university in Puerto Rico. So we were, the whole financial crisis um, ha, was fully underway. And one of the main things that the Junta de Control Fiscal, which was the kind of outside implemented over our government uh, financial control board, one of the main things they want to do was change Puerto Rico's um, funding system for the public the way they fund the University of Puerto Rico, which is the only public uh, university uh, in the country. So we they wanted to change it to much more of a public universities in the US model, which is funded by alumni and fund, you know, funded by these big funding drives and donors, right? And that kind of thing. And in Puerto Rico, the way that uh, higher ed is and, and was funded was by taking a percentage off the top of like, all the collected taxes. So um, that was something that, that was like a model that that control board wanted to change and it involved more than $500 million in cuts. And so at the university, <laughs> it is just, it just not a fun place to be. And many of you, it, you know, have, uh, are experiencing this or have experienced. Um, it's not a fun place to be when there's giant and deep cuts. So I'll just tell this one story. Um, the, the students were striking in a long strike, like an over two month strike. And I was at the bakery <laughs> and I'm listening to people around me talking because the news is on like a TV or, or they're looking at the headline of a paper or something. And they're like, why are we paying the professors if, the if they're not giving classes to the students? And I had this like light bulb moment in my head, which was like, hmm, I better figure out what the heck I'm doing because both of us have our salaries in this system, which is being cut, which is not like in like the public opinion was shifting. Like it was a whole holy mess. <laughs> and that was one of the main catalysts that helped me make a decision about what I wanted to do next in my career, which was create these programs and coach all of you. But I want to kind of just say that I climbed the ranks and I did all the things, right? I got tenured, I got full, I ran, I founded a research lab, I got big grants, um, I published things. <laughs> and I spent those years like feeling really frustrated and tired. And if you're frustrated all the time because your university is facing cuts or whatever's happening and you're trying to create and you just like hit walls, it's super exhausting, right? Um, and then I figured out my zone of genius and I actually created my own container, which is this business um, that offers professional development and coaching. And that's how my post-tenure story uh, turns out, just to give you a little background. So I'm going to turn it over to Gina, and Gina, I'll work the slides for you just to make it as simple as uh, possible. Um, look at Gina, look at that little nugget in your arms in this picture. So tell us a little bit about your story. 
Oh my goodness. Um, he is 12 now. Wow. Um, so yes. So, so my, my story started out with, you know, a super, super exciting grad school experience where I was totally ready to, you know, become the professor of my dreams. And, um, what really happened was that I ended up at a university where my success was really not linked to the work that I was doing. I felt like I was, um, I was caught up in political issues. There was a lot of bullying. There was, there was all kinds of stuff that really, um, just made it difficult for me to feel like this was the right path for me. And so I ended up leaving and, um, I, I felt like I was in a lot of turmoil. And one thing that I have learned in uh, in that time is that turmoil isn't something that we just want to resolve, right? Turmoil is a signal. It's telling us something, it's teaching us something. And it was a signal for me that I needed to make a really, really big change. So I, um, I left, I went to the Vermont Humanities Council, which um, was an amazing position and got, gave me a lot of perspective in terms of what life outside of academia is, but also gave me the opportunity, as Kathy put here, to, to find my zone of genius. I started working with Kathy part-time and felt like, oh, maybe I'll kind of keep this, this connection to academia. And then, you know, the more that I started working with this company, the more that I felt like this was really not just my zone of genius, but also kind of my mission. So um, so here I am, and um, I'm, I wish that I'd had Kathy way back when I were um, a faculty member, but um, if I did, I probably wouldn't be here. So, <laughs> so thank you, Kathy. <laughs> and, no, thank you. I'm glad it all worked out the way that it did, of course. <laughs> So another thing that we did when we were, for, so that's just a little bit about me and Gina who have gone through the tenure process, right? Um, and when we were forming this program, which really formed because people asked us to create it, <laughs> um, we, it was, gosh, it was the winter of 2019 before the pandemic hit in 2020. And we talked to over 50 women and non-binary faculty um, we just had like, we were just like, let's find out as much as we can about people's kind of struggles post tenure and to see if they were the same as ours and to see how we wanted to address it. So what we found, and when I say talk to, we, I personally interviewed at least 50 um, people who were in our community at that time. So they got tenure and they thought, this is a common, common themes were, they got tenure and they thought, why is this not different? Okay, why doesn't it feel different than it did pre-tenure? Why do I still feel like I'm on like a treadmill that's set too quick, too, too fast? Um, they were really itching to make change, but also kind of tired, right? And not sure where to put their energy next um, or even what exactly change looked like or could look like or how to go after it. And they were across the board overwhelmed with admin responsibilities that many people had taken on without additional compensation um, and also with putting out fires. So let me know in the chat if that res if any of those things resonate with you. Um, but that's a little bit about the things that influenced us to create the program. But I do want to mention that Elevate is really co-created by the coaching team whose beautiful faces we see here and you, right? And the participants themselves. So as we, uh, because most of the program components are delivered live, we are actually adjusting and, um, and figuring out as we go how to better make those six spokes of the framework apply to the specific cohort that we have uh, with us during that round of Elevate. Um, yes, Ana Jose, like I'm, yeah, it's too much. It's sad, right? That like so many people have this kind of same experience. Um, but it also means that when we get together and try to solve some of these problems for ourselves, that there's a way to do it. And that we know, we know that there's a way because now we've run this program so many times. Like I said, we've had almost 70 clients go through this program. Um, we know that, 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 
we're doing a good job of helping people to get over those obstacles. So here's a couple of our um, very successful Elevate members. Um, this is Becky. Uh, she was one of our, in our first cohort that started in January, 2020. Um, Becky felt like she had big goals to accomplish, but was drowning in the everyday. So maybe that resonates <laughs> with you, right? Um, she was really hungry to see the big picture of her career and to make big impact. Now, Becky is an epidemiologist. And what I always want to say is that if Becky was able to make time in between February 2020 and July 2020 to participate in our program, um, anybody should be, <laughs> should be able to do that because Becky now has a regular spot on TV where she uh, talks about epidemiology issues. She has a... Uh, a, a weekly newsletter that goes out. She's really stepped into a major role in her community, not only leading her campus, but leading her community um, in uh, COVID-19 response. And now more broadly in, you know, public health and epidemiology information. Um, here's Joanne. Uh, after years of working in admin, Joanne felt like she deserved a promotion, but her department actually didn't agree. And Joanne is in the UK, so she kind of had to have her department's go ahead to, to, to go up for full, or the equivalent of full. But she was, she was like, no, I, I do deserve that promotion. And she stood up for herself and got the support of her dean and went up for promotion anyway. So she was able to really make that big decision, which would have been scary before um, with the support of Elevate. This is Despina. Despina joined Elevate because she thought she'd be able to get even more done. Like that was her thought. She's like, oh, if I take this, my productivity will go up. Now, this woman was already bringing in more grant funds than anyone else in her department. She was already like running this big lab, doing big things. And so actually what she learned in our program was how to rest. And she took her first two week vacation 100% off work. So she came in with this idea, like, I'm going to be more productive. And she left with spaciousness and time with her kids and like some of those things that are like more valuable, right? Than, than productivity. Yes, Davina, we all need that. We need the rest. That's a big part of how we coach, actually. And this is Sonia. Sonia already was a leading researcher and publisher when she joined Elevate. In the program, she really figured out her zone of genius. And this is one of my favorite things. <laughs> um, she used university funds to hire an assistant so that she was able to clear even more time to work in her zone. And that's something that we talk about. You'll see when I talk about the curriculum, finding support, um, which sometimes means hiring support and knowing how to get those resources to do that. So what we're going to cover today um, in the, the next few minutes is who Elevate is for, how the program works. I'm going to go over the curriculum. Um, I have a special gift for you. So uh, please stay until uh, till that time. And then we're going to have time for a Q&A. So um, Eleva the Elevate program is a mostly live delivered online coaching program. It's perfect for newly tenured faculty or if you're uh, someone who is on your way into or out of an admin role, we get a lot of clients who are either going into being a department chair or dean or coming out of that experience and trying to find their way again. Elevate is also perfect for somebody going up for that final promotion. So if that's full um, or whatever they call it in your system, right? Going up for that final promotion, or even we have had people who are already full professors and are just want more from their career or want their career to feel different or feel like there's another thing out there for them and they're trying to figure out what it is. We're looking for a diverse group of 24 scholars ready to support each other in reaching the next level in their careers. There are only 24 spots in this program. It is two cohorts of 12. Elevate is for you if you want to figure out your post-tenure path that is in line with your mission and values. And if you want to learn how to build a team of support around you, both at work and at home. Elevate is also for you if you want to spend more of your precious time doing what really lights you up, like not just what you're good at or what other people think you're good at, but what, um, but what lights you up inside, right? 
And also if you want to create an impact on the world through your work. And also I want to add here that you want to define that impact for yourself rather than look at what your university thinks in impact is impact on the world. So how the program works, right? I'm going to walk you real quick through our program framework um, and then talk about our program experience, like the different program parts, and then give you all the information about the extras. Don't forget, I've got a special gift for you for staying to the end. So this is the framework for this program. It's a six month program. And basically we take each one of these areas and dive real deep into it. Um, month by month. We start with Elevate Your Mission in February, and then we work around and uh, the program ends at the end of July. So in month one called Elevate Your Mission, what we're going to do here is like reignite your sense of purpose and your academic mission. Again, as you progress in academia, a lot of times you kind of just like keep picking up stuff and it's hard to like call those things away and really focus on what you want to focus on. You might even not know what that is. And that's okay. Like we help you figure out what that is. So this is not just um, those of you who have done navigate. This is not just your academic mission statement. Those of you who have done amplify. This is not your um, milestone map. This is really like your ideal vision of your career why you want to do it, super big picture um, vision. And of course, like we still keep working on the mission statement, which changes at this point of the career. Um, and we really want to show you how to figure out what we're using this term zone of genius, um, which we borrowed from uh, uh, the book, The Big Leap. But really what we're talking about here is what you really, your unique contribution to the world, not which is different from what everybody else wants you to do, and even different from things you're excellent at. Because um, the problem uh, at this level of, in your career and in your human development <laughs> is that you're actually excellent at many things. So now is the time to decide of the many things that I'm excellent at. What is it that I really want to be spending my days doing? Because there, you're, what you spend your days doing is what you spend the rest of your career doing. So it's a very important uh, thing to figure out. Um, in month two, we really talk about valuing your time. At this level of your career, your time, I mean, it's always valuable, but your time is extra valuable because it has all this expertise built into it. Years and years of study, years and years of experience, right? And so as you keep moving through your career, thinking about time as your most valuable resource is, is really, really important. So it's not just like, you know, entry level time management skills. It's really uh, up level time management skills for a person who is a super expert in, um, in their thing, right? Um, and we also talk about building a team of support around you, whether that is through, you know, if you work in a lab, how you build and manage your lab team. But even if you're not in a lab uh, department or a lab um, area of study, how do you build the, the support of students and postdocs and other people you work with around you uh, to help it support staff, right? to help you get to where you wanna be and keep your time super protected. In month three, of course, we wanna talk about writing because we love to talk about writing. Um, so we think about really like what, we have you envision this career for yourself. And then what we wanna do is like figure out what's like the first step writing project to that you know big vision for your career. Um, so we talk about centering your writing and designing your pipeline to support this vision. In month four, and really throughout this whole program, we talk about trusting your process, okay? So we have you evaluate your current practices, find ways to make them more sustainable. Of course, we're going to talk about saying no, um, and we're going to really think about how you have been thinking like that stuff you do is a weakness or part of your personality or your working habits are, are a weakness, that actually you should be developing those things and thinking of them as strengths. So we want to really have you I really trust your process 
So almost like excavate or uncover your own process and tweak it rather than say like, oh, I'm bad at time management or I'm only deadline oriented or all of these messages that we say to ourselves, we really want to think like, how is it that you do it? You, what has been working for you all of this time? And how can you do more of that or tweak that so that it feels better? So really figuring out your process. Um, in month five, we talk about leading for legacy. Um, the, there, we have a great conversation about leadership, what it means, what it looks like. Some people in the program are resistant to the word leadership because they've had to equate it so long with not getting paid to do higher level work, or they've had to equate it for so long with admin. Um, and so, but really everyone who joins this program is a leader in some way, right? A leader of students, a leader in, uh, in their research field. So how are you going to be a leader the way you want to be, right? And not what kind of the, the world tells you it looks like. And then finally, the last month, we talk about raising the stakes. So really getting that up-leveled vision. Now that you've gone through the whole program, how would you go back and, and how do you see that next five or 10 years of your career? Um, and how are you going to source the money to get there? Like, how are you going to... Um, get that support? How are you going to fund support for yourself? Um, defining what success looks like for you in everyday small ways and then in bigger ways. Um, and then, you know, really figuring out what that big ambitious goal is and, uh, and how to fund it, right? Again, even if the ambitious goal is, we really like to write a book about this thing that I didn't think was right in my area, but is, and also not work on weekends. Like that is a perfectly wonderful and I think ambitious goal considering the way most of us are working in academia right now. So that's the, that's the curriculum. Um, and I do have it in a brochure for you, which I'll link, um, I'll link up uh, uh, during the Q&A part. So you're gonna experience the way we, the program parts we call them or the program experience is um, every month we take one of these themes that I've just outlined for you. And there's a monthly 90 minute workshop delivered live uh, via Zoom by our team of coaches. Okay, so that's workshop style. And then uh, that, and that happens on the first Thursday of the month at 11 o'clock Eastern or New York City time. So that is, um, that is everybody together. So all 20 to 24 members uh, on that call together. And Joanne said, I surprised myself, but joining Elevate has really helped me to recognize my strengths and stand up for them. And that's something we really work on in those workshop calls. You're also going to experience small group coaching. And those are monthly 90 minute cohort. We call them cohort calls because there's two groups. We break into two groups of 10 or 12. And those calls really help you implement the things you learned in the workshop and build peer mentoring. And you can choose between Wednesdays at 1 p.m., the, the third week of each month, Wednesday at 1 p.m. or Friday at 11 a.m. And those are also 90-minute calls. So one workshop per month, one group coaching call per month. Becky said, I prioritize Elevate calls above all else. I have come to need those calls and the opportunity to be grounded in a way that I need nothing else right now. It has been amazing how much the program has energized me in the midst of so much chaos. And so really we're asking, and some of you are like, well, can I commit to those times? You know, And that's in the back of your head because all of you are, are overworked. Um, and so this is just a little reminder that that investment of 90 minutes in the first week of the month and 90 minutes in the third week of the month really has payoff in terms of this feeling of being grounded and feeling in control of your career. We also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as every month you'll get one one-on-one -on -one coaching call with our coaching team. You sign up for that time as it fits into your schedule. So workshop, group call, one-on-one -on -one call. This is what we're doing every month. Um, Jennifer Carter said, the coaching helped me think through what I want to do next in my research and sparked a series of serendipitous events that I made the most of with the preparation and planning I got in the program. So she was really to work, really able to work through her, she was an engineer, so like her grant funding method and how she spent time working on grants 
with little kids during the pandemic. <laughs> um, and that coaching really helped her get through and be successful. Also, every month we have a peer review session and the peer review sessions happen, not just with the Elevate uh, uh, cohort, but also with our alumni group. So there'll be some additional um, Elevate alums and Amplify alums in, mixed in uh, into the peer review. It, uh, peer review again happens monthly. So monthly structured peer review sessions so that you can move forward uh, in your writing impactfully. And those sessions are designed to be you bring three to five pages of whatever the heck you want, like really like whatever you're working on, <laughs> you bring three to five pages and you get eyes on that. You don't have to prep ahead of time except to have your pages ready. Um, and they could be an outline. It could be an abstract. It really can be super rough, um, but just come and get eyes on your work and a great kind of multidisciplinary discussion. So this is from Danielle Tucker, a senior lecturer uh, in management and Elevate member. She says, I remember thinking I'm losing the enthusiasm. I wanted to get the enjoyment back. Um, and then just the bolded quote here, right? To find that inspiration from other people who are ambitious and driven and have similar goals. So she says, if you just need some space to think and understand what your career direction could be and might look like, definitely do it. This program will help you with all of that. We also, we start the program with a three-day uh, online retreat, our New Year's writing retreat, which is happening in 2023, January 25 through 27. And this kicks off, uh, that should say 2023, excuse me, <laughs> as your like career changing year, you meet your cohort um, and you participate in our writing retreat as a way to kind of get started, meet the coaches and start to experience what it's like to work with us online. Um, do we have, do we have alumni and other people in the program who can read writing in French coaches? I'm going to say yes, but I'm trying to think of, we have other, we have French Canadians, um, right? Yeah. And we've actually, we've been able to connect people and do that in the past. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you see Lynn's question about the individual coaching? How much? Yes, no problem. Um, it's one coaching session per month. So six coaching calls. And the reason we do it that way is that we really think that you have like, you need time to implement. Right. Like, so if you had co a one-on-one -on -one coaching call every week, it, you, it would feel wrong. <laughs> um, so, so that once a month helps you to really like work on something, implement, have another call, keep moving forward, keep moving forward, but without feeling like, you know, going super fast. Although I will say the thing, I think the th a part of this program that really helps you move fast, if you want to move fast is the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So monthly live workshops, monthly group coaching sessions, monthly one-on-one -on -one calls, monthly peer review, and our three-day retreat. Those are the bones of the program. And there's some extras that you get by being part of our most kind of top level program. So we do offer um, daily and weekly support inside of our online community. Um, we have a Monday uh, and actually Tuesday, <laughs> uh, you can choose one or the other, weekly mindset coaching call. So a 30 minute group coaching call that you can participate in every week or not, because what we really wanna teach you in this program is to trust what you need right? Like how you need to be. Um, and so if you need that 30 minute group coaching call, come and do it. Um, and if not, don't do it and don't feel like you're missing out because really we want you to like develop that sense of trusting what you need. We also offer daily co-writing in our online community. So like Zoom, specific Zoom times where you can get online and write with other people in our programs um, silently but you're all there together. So it gives you that kind of little energy boost. And then we also run a community in Slack, which is a, not a social media program. It's like a tool, an online tool for asynchronous uh, uh, communication, I guess I would say. So um, <clears throat> we have, so that's a way that you can connect with your fellow Elevate members outside of the calls and with our coaching team as well. And you get every single course we've ever 
done. <laughs> so all recorded material that we've ever created, you get access to. Um, not necessarily all at once because we don't want to like completely overwhelm you, but even the Amplify recorded workshops and all of the, if you've never taken our Navigate program, you get all the 10 recorded modules for Navigate um, when you join Elevate. So, and you get to keep those. So you just, that's for you. Um, it gives us kind of a bank of resources that we can share with you um, as we go through the program. Uh, so the total value here, the program value um, is around $10,000. The value of all those extras, if you were to buy them all individually, is around $18,000. The total value we're talking about here is around $29,000. And the investment in our program is $10,000. So it's $10,000 for the six months. We let me say this, and then we do have an early bird price. I'm going to show you in a second. So Despina said, you can't afford not to do this, right? So she said, I was really nervous about spending my professional development funds on Elevate, but looking back, I think it's one of the best financial decisions I've ever made. It has a huge spillover effect. I'm a better mentor, collaborator, wife, and mother as a result. Elevate has had a direct effect on my family, my friends, my colleagues, my students. We feel like we can't afford to do it, but it's almost like we can't afford not to, right? If a grad student came to you and asked for the funds, you would be like, go do it. You're going to be better for it. So why wouldn't we do that for ourselves? So until October 31st, we are in our early bird enrollment phase, um, which means that you can enroll for 9,000 instead of 10,000. Also remember that if you're in Navigate, that some people in Navigate have a voucher um, and it might be a $1,000 voucher, it might be a $2,000 voucher, depending on when you did navigate. And then people who are in Amplify can join uh, Elevate also at like a member's price. And so for most people, that would be 8,000 instead of the 9,000, again, until October 31st. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you are were a Navigate member at some time or Amplify member that you check in with Paulette, just send us a, an email at paulette at um, for, uh, for you know, your special pricing. So we actually have about half of our, uh, of our people who enroll each time pay with university funding. So a, there are people <laughs> who have uh, that funding. And then about half of the people pay with their own funding. Um, or there's a little like 20% in there that does a, like a, like a cohort, like a, you know, partially funded by the university and then they fund themselves. So join with early bird pricing by October 31st. Um, you can pay in full or start your payment plan and that locks in the early bird pricing for you. I'm going to talk about payment plan in a second. Um, and registration closes when the program fills or on December 22nd. Okay. So we're closing registration before the holiday break. Um, and uh, then the program starts with the retreat on January 25th. And I got some bonuses. So this is a, a really great bonus <laughs> that I'm very excited to offer. Um, if you pay in full by October 31st, then you get our pay in full bonus, which is during the duration of the program, which is the six months from you know February through July, uh, you get Voxer coaching with me. Now, this is a little screenshot of what the Voxer app looks like, but basically what it is, is a really easy way to do back and forth. They call it like a walkie talkie app, but like voice messaging back and forth, which I love. <laughs> this is my favorite app in the world. Um, and so we offered this as a, as a pay full bonus for Amplify in September. So I've been doing it with the Amplify members and it's been so much fun. Um, and so really... I'm just there in your pocket. If you've got a question, if you've got a thought, if you're working through something, send me a little Voxer. Of course, I've got some boundaries around it, right? Like you don't expect me to reply within a, 10 minutes, but um, I do reply within 24 to 48 hours. And um, I'll give you some examples of cool Voxer coaching things that have happened. When I first started experimenting with Voxer coaching, I actually did that with a couple of uh, Elevate of uh, grads. And one of them is um, Lauren. Uh, Lauren uh, was on the job market and um, she 
I kind of voxed or coach, coached her during her job market time. Um, and she was able to negotiate $30,000 more than the original offer she got. And let me say about Lauren, she's a mid-career historian. So she did not believe that she was going to get a job at all. She did not. She was like, nobody gets hired. And I was like, well, let's see, <laughs> you know, and I was able to kind of coach her through this process and, she, and just supporting her as she asked for what she needed. And what she needed was for her salary uh, to be $30,000 more. So they offered her whatever, 50 something, and she negotiated for 80 something as the starting salary. She also negotiated for reduced service time and a guaranteed sabbatical. So these are things that she was able to really like go in and aggressively uh, negotiate for herself as she, uh, as she, you know, switched jobs. Um, and another, this is just uh, Abby from who's in Amplify right now. She said about Voxer coaching, so many amazing nuggets in your messages. I had to listen to them all twice and write down the key points and digest them. I love this Voxer coaching. So having those like recordings, not just of me saying, answering a question or coaching you through something, but actually also like you can go back and listen to yourself, which I recommend uh, people to do um, because so many people actually know what they should do. Um, and, and I can hear that and I can pull that out of your messages and kind of reflect it back to you. So I have one more super awesome bonus, which is that if you are like ready <laughs> you're ready to join. You've got your funding lined up and it hits the bank. It hits our bank by, uh, by Friday. Then, um, you get this fast action pay in full bonus, which is that you can start Voxer coaching right now. So as soon as you enroll, you'll get the information about Voxer coaching with me. And so there's still like four months out until the program starts. You'll be able to Voxer coach with me for four months uh, and then also during the six months of the program. So that's 10 months of access to coaching with me. So I am going to drop the application link here in the window. Sorry, now the screen looks weird because I've got this little note here with the application link. There we go. Um, and then a couple, I, let me, while I'm here, let me also drop the brochure which is helpful sometimes for people when they are getting funding from their university. Um, so that's the application link. Let me just get that back on. Um, there we go. And I'll just share again. Um, no, I want to present. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> la, la, la. So I'm going to do a few uh, frequently asked questions. So as I mentioned before, some of you may be thinking like, oh my gosh, how much time does this take? I'm so busy, right? So to be really clear, one of the key aspects of Elevate is time management training. So this program is actually going to save you time. Um, so making enough time to participate in the key program aspects is going to save you time for years. So I just want to kind of put it that way. Um, and also uh, what we really are asking you to do is dedicate 90 minutes per week. So week one of the month is a workshop. Week two is a one-on-one -on -one call. Maybe it actually, you can schedule them throughout, but as a sample schedule, right? Week three is the group call. Week four, you might participate in peer review. So um, in addition, optionally, you could come to our 30 minute mindset call in the beginning of each week. Um, and participate in a co-writing session. But at its core, we're talking about, about 90 minutes per week of um, commitment. When are the meetings? This is really important. So again, the and this is in the brochure, I believe, the first Thursday at the first Thursday of the month at 11 o'clock uh, Eastern or New York City time. And then the cohorts are the third Wednesday and the third Friday of the month at one and at 11, also 90 minute calls. I just got tenure. Should I wait or should I do this now? So again, Becky's words, Elevate has helped me realize that I need to prioritize myself and the work that I want to accomplish. And it helped me recognize that taking this time for myself also has benefits for my students, the administration, my community, my research field. 
don't wait. This is the year to do it. And yeah, I don't think there's any reason to wait. If you are here on this call, it means you are feeling some of these things that we talked about, right? Struggling with some of these kind of mid-career problems. So why wait and so solve them at some undefined later date? Like let's solve them now and have a more joyful and impactful career from now on, right? So I'm a full professor. Is this program for me? Yes, we. Uh, there's no um, entry requirements in terms of like nobody's looking at your promotion papers. We've had full professors come in and get a lot of value from the program. Um, when am I enrolling this program? Are we enrolling this program again? We run this program once a year. As of right now, it's only going to happen in this next, you know, the enrollment period now for the six months next year. So it happens basically February through July each year. Some people are scared because they don't know what their next level looks like. Am I ready for Elevate? Yeah, we're going to help you figure out what that is. And actually, some people have one next level in mind and they change and it changes during the program. So that is part of the experience of the program is really getting clear on what that next level looks like for you. And then maybe you're thinking, I've done other professional development programs before. How is this one different? Um, I mean, I could go on, but one of the ways it's different is that you're not just figuring out that next level. You're also figuring out how to implement that next level. And you're really developing this inner, the self-trust and the, 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 the kind of inner tools to do that. So it's really a coaching program. We lure you in with talk of training, <laughs> but actually the goodness of this program is in the coaching. Um, and even our trainings are rather coachy. <laughs> and what that means, what coaches, what we think coaches do is help reflect back to you that inner knowledge that you might not be able to tap because you're hearing so many other voices about what you should do, or you've been doing things a certain way for so long. So um, this is really a coaching program. So it's different from like a seminar that you're that somebody's going to bring a one-time something. No, it's not that. It's really meant to be transformational. Um, some people worry like, I want to do it, but I got to talk to my department chair. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, a, some tips for talking to, uh, to your department chair or dean about this. I just want to make sure that when you go into that conversation that you're not asking for permission. Um, don't give them the decision-making power. You're saying, this is what I want right? Like you're not saying, do I have permission to do this? It's more like, will you support me in doing this, right? Um, they might find it hard to believe you're struggling because many of the people on this call are actually the leaders in their departments, are the people who looks like you're most productive. Um, so, so you want to frame that conversation as like, I've found a solution that's going to help me do the next thing I want to do in my career. Um, because from the outside to other people, you might not look like you're struggling at all, right? Um, so that's really important to kind of frame it like, I want to do something and I have found the solution that's going to help me get there. Um, your results will impact those around you profoundly. Many of the quotes from this, uh, from this presentation talk about how things are impacted, you know, how it's impacted their families, their communities, their students, right? So this is something that's going to impact people around you. Um, about privacy, uh, this is important to know, like we don't record um, group calls because we talk about kind of private things and we don't want those recordings like out there. We do record the workshop and then we have a curriculum for the group calls, like usually, which just is like, many, which will be like guide questions and those kind of things, which we will make available to you if you have to miss a call, but we don't provide recordings of the group calls or the one-on-ones for this reason. Like we don't want to be the stewards of some very personal interactions between you and coaches, um, you know, recorded on the internet. We, you know, we can protect them, but only so much, right? Um, is there a payment plan? Yes, there is. So the payment plan for early bird, and this is for this is going to be a little lower for people who are Navigate or Amplify. If you have the Navigate voucher or if you're an Amplify grad, 
Um, the payment plan for early bird is $1,150 for eight monthly payments. And then it's $1,275 for eight monthly payments after the end of October. So basically what we want you to do is if you're going to do the payment plan, you're going to start it now or soon, right? And then every month you're paying. Um, and so your payments will kind of be done by the end of the program. Can I pay with university funds? So as I mentioned before, we have about half of our members pay with university funds, either because they have their own startup money or they want to use their own indirect cost money, or they have, um, or they ask, right? They make an ask. So yes, we absolutely can accept payment from your university, but just a couple of things to have in mind. If you decide, if you're like, well, my university takes forever to pay. So I'm going to join a payment plan to hold my spot or to hold the, the reduced pricing, right? Which I think is a great idea. That's great, but we're, we can't refund your money, right? So one thing that you could do is sign up with the payment plan now, work your cell, you know, work the contacts and get that funding so that it hits before your next payment. We'll stop the payments. Um, and basically you pay the first payment or the first couple payments while you're working on getting that funding lined up. And then your university can pay off the difference. What we can't do is refund you. Okay, so so it's not like you pay three thousand dollars in, and then your university comes up with funding, and then we refund you three thousand dollars. We can't do that. Um, so think about you know how how fast your university works and how who you need to talk to to really get that funding to come through quickly. Um, if your university pays. Uh, because I know some of you are like, yep, I've got the funds and I just need to get you in my system so we can cut you a check. Uh, we need to have the payment in full by, from your university, like by December 22nd. So after, you know, we need that. That's why we opened enrollment at the beginning of October, because it really gives you like almost three whole months to get that payment to us. We can't let you in the program until we have your payment. So if we don't, you know, so we just, we know universities are slow. We've been, we ourselves have been bitten in the butt before. <laughs> so we need to make sure that we have payment in hand before you um, are, you have that spot in the program. So again, I'm going to um, go ahead. Actually, I'm going to stop screen sharing. How do I do it? Stop share. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put the application and oh, I have the gift. Here's the gift. Okay, there's the application. Okay, the gift for you is the course, um, which some of you probably have, but for those of you who don't, um, is the funding formula. So if you click on that link, um, it gives you for free the um, our funding formula course. It's just a what it is is a short workshop and template letters. So that is gonna help you ask for funding. It helps you really hook your funding uh, request to your university's strategic plan and, and kind of guides you through that process. Um, so again, that's you can click on that bit.ly link that uh, says slash funding elevate. It should come up as like the price of the course crossed out and then free. So it shouldn't be hard to get and then the uh, process, actually, I need to share my screen again. The process for, um, for, uh, for applying, I have some slides about that. I'm just going to do them this way. Um, if you're watching the replay, by the way, there's a button for the, for the, uh, for the application that's probably below this video. Um, if you click through uh, to the uh, application, you are going to have, it's a very short application. It's just going to take you a few minutes to fill out. There's like, I don't know, five, eight questions. Um, and what happens next is once you submit your application, I'm going to review uh, that application within 24 hours uh, during October. Um, after that, it might be within 48 hours, but um, because I want people to be able to get in uh, with the early bird pricing, I'll be... Um, 
I'll be reviewing applications uh, every 24 hours. Um, the program begins on January 25th with the retreat. There's the funding formula this is our proven method for getting the university to pay for whatever you want, not just this program. If you're looking for space, if you're looking for other kinds of internal funding, if you want a student or a, other kinds of support staff, it's the same method for asking. So uh, include some template letters. And now I'm ready for questions. Gina, do you have any that you want to kind of throw to me or answer yourself? <laughs> um, yes, this is a question from um, Stella Hines and it, it's a great question. So she she's asking if there are people who participated in Elevate who did not have as much success as the people we highlighted. Um, and if so, what were the factors that hindered success or their success? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I th that's such a great question. Yeah. Rocio's in the chat. Like, yeah, I, Rocio, I, we could let her talk. <laughs> anyway, Zoom isn't letting us have Rocio on this call. But anyway, um, of course, just like any, um, just like any program or any class that you teach, people who are to participate are going to have different experiences. Hey, that was Rocio. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um, hello. So a couple of things, right? It depends on how much you put into the program, how much you're going to get out. So one of the factors is how open to, are you to coaching, right? That's, a, that's one of the things we're actually in the application. There's usually some red flags for people who aren't very open to coaching that I can catch. And I actually try not to let those people into the program because it's a coaching program. You have to be like open to other people's ideas, right? Um, or or other, not other people's ideas, but people working with you to pull out of you your best ideas. Um, so there's that. I also think people who maybe um, don't put a lot of value in the peer uh, interactions those people also kind of get less from the program. Um, I don't know if Rocio or Gina, you have other thoughts. I do, I do. <laughs> do it. Right, go ahead. All right, thank you. So it's good to, um, I'm not seeing you, but it's good to be here with you all. I, I, I really like this question because we could have a whole workshop and in, in month and in, in year of talking about this. Um, and the, the short version of the answer that I'm gonna give is um, two things. One, uh, as Kathy mentioned, you get out of it what you put in, right? And sometimes we get busy and we get um, you know nervous about all the things we need to do. And so we feel like we can't be present as much or, or think of specific things because we want to push them to later. So losing the fear, trusting ourselves as part of the process, and that may be some ways in which we don't accomplish and our clients cannot perhaps do everything they envision. However, um, and this is part two, success really depends on each person, right? And so what you're seeing here on the slides may seem flashy and great for some for others they are like, oh, that's actually okay. I've done that, you know? So it really depends on the person what success is. Um, and from our conversations, whether it's a, a flashy thing that you may see flashy or not so much, it's still within the bounds of the people and the clients that we've worked with. And so I feel that they've all been successful in most of the ways that they envisioned it. And if they didn't, how they started, they have transition and, and figure out what it really means to them. So. I hope that answers some of the questions. And, and this is a process and it's it's just really humbling and amazing to be part of that. So can't wait to work with all of you. Yay, thank you, Gina, go ahead. I love that answer. No, and that's very, um, very similar to um, what I was thinking in terms of um, success, especially because when we began this program a few years ago, we, um, I think we had a very clear idea in our heads of what success would mean post-tenure. And we learned a lot from each group of clients because, you know, in a one-on-one, -on -one, when I'm saying, okay, how are we going to make more money for you? And a client says, I, actually, I don't want to make more money. I just want to rest. <laughs> and then we start to sort of learn what, um, um, how complex this idea of success really is because it is based on what you want. And so sometimes it's a question of knowing what you want and figuring it out. Um, but yeah, the, the, the sort of uh, traditional ideas of success end up meaning so much less once you start the program. 
Yeah, I love that. That's a great answer. Other questions. I, I went in and answered a bunch of questions. So somebody asked me to repeat the early bird price. I typed it in the Q&A, but um, the early bird price, if you're paying in full, um, is 9000 until the end of October. If you're paying in full by the end of October, you also get the pay in full bonus, which is Voxer coaching with me during the six months of the program. If you pay in full by Friday, um, which is yeah, two days from now, because <laughs> um, there are some people like, let me just say, and, and I don't want to, I mean, there are some people who are going to be ready to do this and who are either going to put it on their own credit card and feel like, I know that I can go get this money from my university or people who are sitting on professional development funds that they can wield with a credit card. Like, I just, I know that many people are like, what, who, who has this much money? But <laughs> there are people who have it. And also um, there are ways to get it. So I just want to like encourage people, like even people who were like, my university will never go for this, have been surprised by asking. Okay, so asking is really important. But anyway, for people who sign up by Friday and pay in full because you, you're ready to go and you know what you want to do, then um, you get Voxer coaching with me starting as soon as you sign up. So um, I'm really excited about Voxer coaching. <laughs> I love asynchronously coaching uh, because it gives me like a beat to, to really think. And I think I'm pretty good asynchronously, better maybe than I am live. <laughs> That's a coach. I don't know. Any other questions before we sign off? Thank you all so much for being here today. And Gina and Rocio, thank you too. Yes. And yeah, and thanks for having us. It's always really cool to talk about the, like this process and the program. And of course, anyone who still has questions, um, you know, let us know because um we're pretty, pretty flexible about a lot of things. And um, we, we're just really excited to work with you. I'm going to yeah. sound like Rocio yes. now. I'm excited to work with you. I'm excited to work it with is, you. It is very exciting. Um, yeah. Yeah. There is something else I was going to say. Oh, the thing about applying, which I probably should have said before, but for those of you who are still here, applying doesn't mean that you like have the money in your pocket and you're ready to give it to me tomorrow. Like really like applying means like, let's find out whether you're a good fit for the program. And then I look at your application. I figure out I using the experience I've had in the past, I, I can, I know who's a good fit. I usually send a video and say like, Hey, you're a great fit. Here's why I think you're a good fit. Um, please enroll with like a personalized invitation from me. Um, but it doesn't obligate you to enroll. So what we want is that anybody who's interested, we want you to apply because that gives us a way to continue to follow up and be in communication with you. Particularly if you're having doubts, need to talk to somebody, like if you apply and get accepted, we send you a link that you can have a phone call with me for 15 minutes and just like get your questions answered and whatever. So the next step is applying. It doesn't mean that, you know, you have to pay, um, it, you know, in the next five minutes, even though obviously we have all these bonuses and things, but, but uh, we really want you all to apply. So Stella asked in the Q and a, what do you think is the single most important difference between elevate and navigate? Yeah. Elevate and navigate. Elevate is a career program and Navigate is a writing program. Go ahead, Gina. What were you going to say? I yeah, think there, there's like, a lot, I, but go ahead. I was go trying ahead. to write it in the in the message, and so that's <laughs> that's great that <laughs> we can just talk about it. Um, yeah. So so Navigate is a really really great um, um, sort of foundation, especially if you're concerned about your project management. Um, it has been very very helpful for any anyone who has any kind of neurodiversity, ADHD, things like that, to sort of help create practices so that you're doing the work that you need to do. But then Elevate is way more holistic and focused not just on the individual work that you're doing, but also how you feel about your career and what your, what your best path is. And so they work really well together because if you're totally taken care of in terms of the the nuts and bolts, then you can really start to work on some of the, the bigger issues in your career. 
Yeah. Like if we, that's why when people join Elevate, we give them the Navigate modules because if they've never done Navigate, Navigate, we want them to have access to that. Um, if you've done Navigate, like, so I would say like, if you're done, if you've done Navigate and you're still on this call, right? Like, or if you're still thinking about another program that shows you one of the differences, right? Which is that you can, that, that, that you don't necessarily by taking Navigate for a year, master all those things forever, right? Like it's, to and it's totally like with no judgment, like, like you get better and better and you continue to work on developing practices. And if you, you know, if you need more support, if you need more, like Elevate is going to give you that because we're, because the magic of the, of the thing is in the group coaching with a cohort and one-on-one, -on -one, um, one-on-one -on -one work, um, which is what we have in our Elevate program. Um, Jody asks, do you want me to apply? Even if I'm pretty confident, I won't be able to afford it. I want you to apply if you are going to ask for funding. Um, so if you like, if you're like, I, I know I can't afford it. And also I'm not really going to fight my admin for the money. Then, then no, Jody, like that don't apply. But if you're like, I really want to see what my admin's going to give me. Cause I can't afford it myself. Then I would apply. And then we can just like, you're in, then you're in our world of like, here's our applicants. How are we supporting them to get into our program? Um, instead of just out there by yourself. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, great. Good, good, good. You're welcome. All right. Any other questions before we go? Thank you so much, everyone. So lovely. I can't wait to read all your applications. I often get teary during the applications and also very excited <laughs> because they're usually so great. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.